Hi, this is Jason, and I'm going to show you how to change out a template on an existing website for a new template. So this is our original template. It's made up of images on all of the panels, which I'll show you here. Here we have the header panel. We have the left panel. And the main panel. You see it was just a little bit of a shadow. And the footer panel has an image that looks, you can see there it's gone. And there it is back. And also on this template there is a, on the page margins here and here, there's an image on there which will replace that also. You can see it's gone and now it's back. So here's another template that we may want to change to. It has a header panel image. And also it has the left panel image. and the main panel image. And the footer. You can see it's now gone down here also. And on this one here there's not a image on the page margins, it's just a color. So we'll color match the purple background to match this purple around here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to publish locally to my desktop this template. So I'll go to the toolbar, click on Tools, and Publish Locally. Make a new folder on the desktop. Call it Template. And hit OK. So I have opened up the folder that we just published the new template to. So this is on my desktop. And the only images that were, or the only files that we're actually really interested in right now are the image files, the footer, the header, the left, and the main. So those are the four images that we're going to be using on the new for our, for our new template. So we're back to our original template. Now we'll start swapping out images. Start with the header. I'll click on the folder icon and I'll navigate to our new folder that we put on our desktop. And I want to grab the header image and I'll note that it's 207 pixels tall, which I'll need that setting in Excite Pro. Both the header and the footer, we need the height in pixels, and the left and the main, we'll need the width in pixels. So it's 207 pixels, let's double click. There it is, I'll set the height in the header panel section on the page layout tab to 207. Go down to the left panel section, click on the folder icon, and we'll navigate to the left image, which is 155 pixels wide. So I'll set it to 155 pixels. Now you can see that the nav bar, or the, the nav menu, needs to be pushed in a little bit, so I'll change the padding to 20. There we go. The next we'll do the main panel. The main says it's 622 pixels wide and 37 tall. So I'll change the width to 622. We'll leave the padding at 20 for now.
scroll down all the way to the page footer and the page footer says it's 110 pixels tall so I'll change that to 110 and we can see there's our new page footer so let's go ahead and click preview see what we look like right now okay so the header the left the main the footer they all look good now we need to work on the page margin we'll remove this image and we'll match it with just a color to match this purple up here I'm going to use a program called Color Mania and when you open it, it has a color picker tool right here I'll just hover over the purple and I'll note the red, green, and blue is 204, 204, and 254 and we can use those settings for our margins in Excite Pro So 204 for the red, 204 for the green, and 254 for the blue. There's a new color. I'll add it to the custom colors. I click OK. And now I'll remove the image. There we go. If I hit preview now, you can see it all blends in very nicely. And that's it. That's how you change one template for another.